हेलो एवरीवन थ्रू दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नरेशंस डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच माय डियर फ्रेंड्स बिफोर गोइंग टू वर्ड्स द टॉपिक प्लीज टेक अ ग्लांस थ्रू द पिक्चर व्हाट कैन यू सी obviously this picture is showing that there is conversation between teacher and students teacher said i am teaching you direct and indirect speech now take a glance in this picture again you can see that the student came to home and talking with his parent that teacher said that she was teaching direct and indirect speech my dear friends you can easily observe some changes when there is conversation between first person and second person it is directly conveyed to uh, conveyed message to anyone and when we are conveying that message to another person means third person involved here my dear friends when some statement is being conveyed to anywhere we can say that it is indirect speech now you can see these changes you can see that in the first scene the teacher was talking with the students and saying that teacher said i am teaching grammar direct and indirect speech and in the second scene it can be expressed as teacher said that she was teaching direct and indirect speech my dear friends it is obvious that when conversation is between first person and second person it is direct and indirect speech and when it is conveyed to anyone it can be said that it is indirect speech so my dear friends many more changes are here in direct speech and in indirect speech in direct speech the said words are with an inverted comma and there before is comma and in indirect speech only a statement is there while that is inserted instead of inverted comma jab hame diye hue statement ko direct speech se in direct mein convert karna ho us samay hum comma inverted comma jo hai use hata kar wahan par that ka use karte hain sometimes in your practice you can see that sometimes that is eliminated that is not used for to express in direct speech but most of the time that is there to express the words which are in inverted comma and my dear friends the words which are in inverted comma are the words which are said which have told by the first person so my dear friends what are the changes you can observe here are
ओके नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट सम चेंजेस आर देयर टू मेक अ स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम डायरेक्ट टू इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच माई डियर फ्रेंड द क्वेश्चन इज हियर दैट वाई डू वी नीड टू टॉक अबाउट डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच एंड नरेशंस एंड वाई डू वी नीड टू चेंज इट अगेन द रिस्पॉन्स इज दैट इन योर एक्टिविटी शीट इन योर एग्जाम यू नीड टू कन्वर्ट द नरेशन दैट इज वाई यू आर नीडेड टू नो अबाउट द रूल्स हाउ टू चेंज द स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम डायरेक्ट टू इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच ओके माई डियर फ्रेंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस द स्टेटमेंट इज he said i like to swim in indirect speech it will be as he said that he liked to swim my dear friends it is very clear that he said that he liked to swim it means simple present tense converts into simple past tense so my dear friends before going to practice direct and indirect speech you need to learn tenses and its rules which form of verb we use in which tense it must be in your mind while you are changing the narration of given a statement present continuous tense she said i am reading she said that she was reading present continuous tense converts into past continuous tense he said i have done it he said that he had done it present perfect statement converts into past perfect tense had done which is indicator of past perfect tense i have been doing it he said he said that he had been doing it my dear friend present perfect continuous tense converts into past perfect continuous tense again he said i did it it is very clear that the second form of verb past simple past tense and its indirect form is he said that he had done it he said he was doing it he said that he had been doing it past continuous sentence converts into past perfect continuous tense past perfect statements remains unchanged it is already been done my dear friends in sare examples mein aapne is baat ko dekha hoga ki jab hum koi baat convey kar rahe hain to it is already done it has already done hum use past mein lete hain when the statement is already in past perfect tense then it it remains unchanged and there is no change in past perfect tense statement means he said i had done it he said that he had done it tense is same and in future tense statements we can see that it becomes the conditional sentence as he said i shall do it he said that he would do it he said i'll be reading the book on the 25th he said that he would be reading the book on 25th so my dear friends i hope you understand 
टर्न नाउ टू मेक स्टेटमेंट्स डायरेक्ट टू इनडायरेक्ट वी हैव टू फॉलो सम रूल्स स्पेशली ऑफ टेंस विच वी हैव सीन हियर नाउ यू कैन मैनेज दिस एक्टिविटी एंड दिस एक्टिविटी इज टू मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एक्टिविटी शीट एज यू हैव टू स्कोर एज मच एज पॉसिबल सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स आई होप नाउ यू कैन प्रैक्टिस फॉर इट सो ऑल दी बेस्ट फॉर योर प्रैक्टिस